welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new let's get right into this video so today we are trying the ohuhu poly gel kit this kit comes with 18 different poly gels 10 normal colors four diamond colors and four temperature changings the diamond colors are glitters so let's just get right into opening this package and first thing we see are all the poly gels i mean this is a big collection of poly gels right here first we're gonna get into all the nail prep stuff we got some nippers right here which had a safety thing on it but i've been using these so yeah they don't got the safety thing on them anymore we got some nail clippers we got some dual forms here curved dual forms i'm not gonna be using these though because i just don't like dual forms then we got a hand file right here poly gel brush slip solution base coat glossy top coat and a matte top coat so as you can see just from the nail prep stuff that you get a lot with this kit like normal kits don't usually come with nippers and nail clippers and normally it doesn't come with a matte top coat so we got a lot of good stuff in here it also comes with a cuticle pusher which i forgot to say so already um when you open the box i found a poly gel spill right here then i went to go investigate which poly gel spilled and it was her right here number five she got a little spill on the back the first color we have is clear next we got the color white number three here and number four number five number six number seven number eight number nine number ten number eleven which is a color changing one number twelve thirteen 14, 15, which is a glitter poly gel, 16, 17, and the last color, which is another glitter poly gel, number 18. So here are all the colors. We have a nice variety here. Glitters are pretty nice. The color changing ones are really, I actually really like these two colors right here. So I'm just gonna cure these and let's get right onto this nail set. So here are the color changing poly gels that changed. This first color turned to a clear and the rest of them kind of turned to a milky white. Okay, we're just gonna start by pushing back the cuticles. a long day today y'all what'd you do today client today was the worst day for like i drove like i don't know like, but today there was some crazy people oh yeah i drove today too it was pretty crazy out there very crazy vicky this white car i'm turning um you know a cvs racetrack Mm. turning over there like where mom goes to work and turning you know how there's two lanes right two left turn lanes so this white car okay we're going light screen this white car is still in the turn lane and just and then mid turn just cuts over into the into the turn lane where you don't have to merge where you're already you know going straight you know what i'm talking about right and then i'm behind them i'm like okay well they're already in their lane good so then i go i'm going right and they just slam back over into the to the right lane where you're supposed to merge where i was and vicky i was this close to hitting them like i slammed on my brakes my brakes locked and my yeah. tires skid my bro brakes locked and my tires skid and sydney's phone fell to the front no. where my gas pedal was <laughs> and i'm like so you know what i did because i'm a crazy girl no car wanted to let me in right so i'm like are you kidding me right now so then i just swerve into the space because there was enough space because i guess one car did kind of let me in and then i'm like and then the car in front of me was driving slow i'm like you know what um this is Mm -mm. and then i cut in front of them the car that i cut in front of in front of them was that white car that did that that just swerved into the lane yeah so then i cut in from the car that was going slow and then now i'm behind that white car and then i go up to them right and then they're they're like stupid so then i cut in front of them and then i jam on my brakes to brake check them because they're being yeah they deserved it i don't care and then they kind of got scared or whatever and then i drove super slow in front of them and then they were pretty patient so then i got <laughs> bored because they weren't getting aggravated and then when we got to the when the one lane was over and then it split into two lanes you know um and then i just gave like i put pedal to the floor like my gas pedal was gonna bust in my floor and then um yeah that was that oh and then we went we were going to chick-fil-a so when we got to chick-fil-a i ordered two chicken sandwiches three spicy chicken and then nuggets fry three fries and then two milkshakes and a drink normally i just drive home and i don't check the food but good thing they were like i'm hungry i'm hungry so they're like can you pass out the food i'm like okay start passing out the food i'm like wait 
where are the nuggets? And I look everywhere. I'm like, here, you check for me. There's no nuggets, right? And they're like, no. And then I'm like, do we go back? And they're like, yes. <laughs> and then we went back, right? I'm like, you forgot my nuggets. And they're like, oh, oh, okay, I'm sorry. And they're like, here, they'll take care of it, whatever. And then they gave me my nuggets. I'm like, we're not going to Chick-fil-A on Tuesdays. They're just crazy drivers on Tuesdays. I think, you know, the day my professor, you know, that you were in my room and I was in two minutes late to class mm -hmm. and he called me. I think he was having a bad day because last class he wasn't but his energy was different from the other day and there's this one girl i cannot stand her i don't know why like how like how can you not like somebody on in a zoom class something about her i just do not like and it's like i don't even know her in person i just don't like her like what the heck and i like everyone um he was giving us instructions how to do sketchup and then she was like is it the same as autocad or is it the same as blah 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 the commands and all the buttons he's like no it's totally different and then she's like oh man i thought i was gonna have an advantage and then he said something that just made her sound dumb and then she tried to justify herself and she looked embarrassed and i was just it's like I almost said something out loud. I almost said, oh, you're so annoying. But I remembered that I was not on mute. So I'm just taking my e-file with the fine grit sanding band and I'm just gonna go over all the nails and remove the shine. wipe off the dust from the nails this is like kind of work as my dehydrator before I glue on the tips before I continue sizing out the nails I'm gonna cut the nail growth which I forgot to do so guys we got spice sister spice back in the chair today um Last time we had her here, we were doing those extra long nails on her. Which y'all, I know y'all like this. Oh yeah, y'all really like fan that. Fan favorite. Tell me, tell me it wasn't your fan favorite. I decided Sorry, I'm not gonna use these. I'm gonna use these. Tried and true, I think this is our new go-to. I'm gonna take some KDS glue and I'm gonna be using this to glue on these nail tips. clippers, my tip cutters, and we're just gonna cut Wait, these have, nails Did we even down. discuss the length? straight edge nail clippers and I'm just gonna taper these nails in a little bit. Now I'm taking my hand file. <laughs> fries i'm like wait kfc doesn't have fries it has potato wedges and remember every time mommy we would get kfc mommy would call them wedgies instead of wedges just remember mommy calling them potato wedgies <laughs> potato wedgies i really enjoy this color right here too it's like a mauve i know yes. but <laughs> Like, I could just have a whole nail of that color. 
put some like gold foils on top of it. Done. Now taking my nail drill again. I'm just going to remove the shine from all the nail tips. So I got some rubbing alcohol here and I'm just gonna wipe off all the nails from this dust before I put on the base coat. I can't wait for my trippy red merch. Yeah, I also said um, that I was getting sweatpants, remember? Mm -hmm. When I got this first shirt. Yeah, and it didn't come yet. It didn't come yet, but I ordered them at the same time. Mm -hmm. Just different Weird orders, way. yeah. yeah. Um, so I didn't want to get sweatpants from his new merch launch because I don't really know how they fit. They're kind of men's clothes, you know what I mean? Stupid. Unisex. Right? Yeah. All the shirts said men's shirt and I don't know what this pants said, but I just got medium for both because I didn't know. So I'm just going to take some base coat and paint a layer on all of the nails. I just want to say I really like this bottle, like very classy and simple. Fancy. Base coat feels correct. Feels like a good base coat consistency. Is this really the next step? Do you no. Primer? Yeah. Okay, actually, before I put on base coat, I'm going to put on this Young Nails primer. Well, while I'm putting on the base coat, let me tell you a cat story. Yeah, yeah. So, my cat, um, he likes to eat tape, I know. We don't give him tape, so he doesn't consume tape, okay, if that's what you're wondering. He finds it. He finds, he'll find tape, and he'll just eat it. Um, so, you know, I, I get a lot of products from brands, so I got a lot of boxes with tape on them. So I had one box just lying out in my room and there was a long piece of tape sticking out of it and my cat decided that he was gonna eat the tape. So it was on my desk and my desk is right next to my bed. Also, nail room um, makeover video is gonna be coming soon. Like, where have I been with that? I need where to do that. Where have you been? I've been eating. Anyway, my, the box was that he was eating the tape from was near my bed on my desk. And uh, I stuck my foot out to try and get him to stop eating it. So I shoved my foot under his chin to get him to like lift up his head from the tape. And um, he bit my toe and now I have like an injured toe. So I just thought that it was a crazy story and now I can barely walk. <laughs> I gotta bandage my toe up every time I have to go somewhere. And he really bit it and just didn't care. Please cure. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, Vicky, that was immense pain. I've never felt something like that before. Oh. It's probably the base coat. Base coat has been applied and everything. Here are how the nails are looking. We are going to move on to polygel application. Got the brush that comes with the kit. You guys ask me where I get my brushes from, and I just use the brushes that come in these kits. Hmm. And I just squish it out like that. We're gonna be doing a nice, simple French tip today. I know um, I haven't done a French tip since the beginning of my channel. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing another French tip. It's simple, nude, and white. So I'm gonna be using color number two, color number five. So we're first gonna start off by making the nail bed. Also, this is the poly gel that had a hole in it. Can you guys see? It's right there. Um, yeah, this one's the one that had a spill, but it's the color that we need. So immaculate. This poly gel texture is actually kind of nice. I'm kind of surprised. Describe it. It's it's very soft, but we'll see if it's runny. But right now, it's it feels very soft and very easy to mold. I like that. I actually really like this texture. It feels pretty good so far. It's very soft. say it might be a little runny so guys i'm just continuing and i'm making the nail beds for all of the nails um i just woke up so i might sound a little bit you know scratchy but i had to get this video done like right now because i have a bunch of homework to do today i have two essays to do and like two other assignments uh, i just i have a lot of homework due today so I needed to just get this video done and out of the way so I can just do my homework until I finish everything. But at least I'll have this video ready for Monday. Um, 
yeah so this video is kind of a longer video um as you probably could see it's a longer video kind of chill just me and my sister just conversating and just doing the nails so i just want to try something a little bit different you know kind of a chill chill video and i just i actually really like it so far as i'm editing it After I got all the nail beds for the nails done, I'm just taking my hand file and I'm fixing up the smile line to make that smile line a little more crisp. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this white color number two and we're gonna do the tips of the nails. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Get into it. <laughs> So I'm just putting a big bead of the white on the tips of the nails and then I'm just smoothing that out to fit all the empty space basically and I kind of put the white poly gel over the nude part so when I file away the extra white it will reveal a nice crisp smile line and also to make sure that the whole nail is level with each other because sometimes when you're doing a French tip it's hard to match up the poly gel levels so that they um it's just a smooth surface if that makes sense. So about this poly gel texture, I didn't really explain much about the texture very much. I just said that it was soft, but also a little bit runny. And it is, it is a little bit runny. I will say a little bit like too much runny, especially when I was working near the cuticle area, that nude color just kept flooding the cuticle and I kept having to clean around it like many, many times. It is a little bit runny, which is kind of sad. Um, I do prefer a stiffer poly gel. So if a poly gel were to be either too stiff or too runny, I would go with the two stiff one so at least it doesn't run into my cuticle area or stuff like that it would still work nicely and the colors were all very pretty um i just wanted to do a simple french tip with these colors because it had the perfect nude color and it had a white color so i just went with doing a nice simple french tip maybe i'll use this kit again for either the color changing or the glitter poly gels we'll see I just got my McCart dust collector here and I just got my hand file and we're gonna be reshaping these nails. So I'm just going to continue shaping all of these nails and yeah, so far this kit is, it's not bad. The poly gel texture is just not my favorite. I do still like it and I do like how much stuff comes in this kit. And I think this kit is only $40 or $35. I'm not really sure. All the information for it will be in the description. If you guys are interested in this kit, I do recommend it. I think it is a very good price for how much stuff you get. I mean, 18 poly gels is a lot. You get four color changing, four glitters, and a bunch of nudes and regular pinks and stuff like that. Like that is a lot. You can do so much with that. And I know these tubes are probably gonna last you guys a long time, especially because majority of people don't really do extra long nails like I always do. So I think this kit could last you a very long time for only what, $40? So I do think it's worth it. There are some pros and cons, but it is very affordable and you do get a lot of stuff. And this kit came with a slip solution and that slip solution worked very nicely. Like sometimes slip solutions are just bad and 
Um, they create those little bubbles or, you know, those little bubbles or droplets and they make the nail like look like they have indents in them. If you watch most of my videos, you guys have seen it on some of my videos, but this slip solution did not do that. The slip solution worked very good, so I'm very happy about that. And um, I really love how this kit came with the nippers and nail clippers and cuticle pusher and all that good stuff. Like. That is very good because that is what you really need for when you're doing nails. And also it came with a matte top coat, which I really like. I really like how it came with the matte top coat. They really did a good job with putting mostly everything you need. I think they should have definitely had a nail light in this and just raised the price by, by like $5, but still added a nail lamp. You could have had literally everything you needed. But still, I think you do get a good amount of stuff for what you pay for. I got the glossy top coat and we're just gonna paint these nails glossy. They're like, why are they yellow? I'm asking you an executed decision. Do you want to file this off and use a different top coat? They really yellowy? Yeah, can you not tell? I can tell, but I'm just trying, I can tell it right Very there. on that ring in the pinky. Yeah. I don't want to deal with it. I decided to file off the top coat and just use another top coat that I knew probably wouldn't turn yellow. I put it on for 30 seconds like always, like I do with all my top coats, and it was cured fully, but it turned yellow. So I didn't over cure or anything like that. Now I got some dipped and dusted nails cuticle oil, and I'm just gonna put some cuticle oil on all of these nails. And here are how the nails turned out. They turned out so nice. These nails turned out so beautiful. I'm glad I switched the top coats to a different top coat so that the nails wouldn't be so yellow because now I get this perfect white color. And I don't know, these nails are just so beautiful, so simple, classy. I love the length with this um, French tip. It's so, it's so nice. Let me know what you guys think of this kit, of this nail set. And also let me know what you guys think of this video style, this like chill, long, like me and my sister just talking about random stuff. Um, I think this nail set turned out really good. And, and I talked about my thoughts on this poly gel kit already before. All of the information for this kit will be in the description. Everything that I use will also be in the description. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Be my background. <laughs> he said hello. Oh, oh, ooh, what a nice, ooh, for a close up.